This episode brought to you by MeepleRealty.com, your source for high-quality custom board game inserts. Meeple Realty, think inside the box. Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing I did not expect to bring you because I had not heard of this game until about a week ago. This is Raxon. Now, anybody that doesn't know what Raxon is, and that could be quite a few of you because there's an interesting marketing ploy behind this game. But basically what Raxon is, is a game based in the Dead of Winter universe, and I suppose probably in the Specter Ops universe, because a lot of people believe they share the same universe because Raxon is the evil corporation in both of those two games. And now in this game, this is a cooperative game that is absolutely set in the Dead of Winter universe because it says so in the box. A lot of the same characters from Dead of Winter are in this game. And you are, I believe, working for Raxon trying to contain the outbreak or something along those lines. So without too much else, let's get right into the box. But oh, real quick, let me mention that marketing that they're doing. Basically what they did was they sent out an initial wave of the games to a select number of people. Then those people received three invitations that they could then send out to whoever they, ch they chose in order for those people to then be able to purchase the game. So in order to purchase the game, you have to be invited. And it's been kind of spreading out like that, almost in kind of a viral marketing campaign. I received my invitation from Azdraval, who if any of you have watched Board Game Blender, he is the retro board gamer. So thank you very much Azdraval for my invitation. And I actually have one invitation out of the three left, and I am going to give it away to somebody during this video. So at, the, uh, at some point during the video, there'll be a quick little break, and I will explain how you can get your invitation code. It'll be a real quick contest. It's not going to last very long, only probably a couple days, because like I said, these aren't that difficult to get. But here's your opportunity to get one if you haven't been able to track one down yet. But let's get right down to the box and see what comes in it. Okay, so here we go. This is Raxon, and it's hard to see, but well, I mean, it is really reflective here. But you can see Raxon written just barely there. What's to say, set in the world of Dead of Winter? And there's the back of the box. What do we got? Oh, yeah, included in here are actually two characters for Dead of Winter. Excited about that. And then here we've got the game content. Six character sheets, one game board, 60 population cards, 40 Raxon cards, one rule book, 60 action tokens, one Raxon power token. So let's get into the box and see what we've got. Okay, we've got the rule book here, which appears to be 12 pages. This has got a summary back here and explanations of the icons, and there are a lot of icons in the game. And I have not had a chance to read through this yet. You know, you couldn't get a digital version that I was able to find. It's probably out there somewhere, and I just couldn't quite find it. But there is also a Watch It Played video that I'll probably be looking over again. All right, so here we go. These are the player boards or player cards, whatever they call them. And I think all these characters, Gabriel Diaz, these are all, is there a difference? Yeah, three to four players. One to two players, all right. Um, all these characters, I believe, are characters from Dead of Wonder. So Gabriel Diaz is the firefighter. Here you've got Marilyn Wolf, the journalist. I don't remember her. I wonder if she, maybe she's from the Long Night. I don't have a Long Night expansion. So Thomas Hart, the lieutenant, he's definitely from the original game. Olivia Brown, the doctor's from the original game. Brian Lee, the mayor also. And then Katie James, I don't recognize her. Disease control official, okay. And these are all different actions, I believe, that you can take in the game. And 
I believe I, I can't remember exactly how it all works. Like I said, I watched the watch and play video once, but we'll be doing it again now that I've got the game itself. Now this, why in the world would you shrink wrap a punch board? That's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, that's that's really annoying. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, because who cares if the things fall out? Because that's kind of the idea. Okay, there we go. Uh, I will say they do fall out very easily. I mean, they punch right out. That one hung up a little bit, but the, let's see. For the most part, they are practically falling out. There we go. And what's this over here? Not sure where that is. Okay. All right. And here we've got the main game board. Let's see. We've got the infection supply, population discard pile, population draw pile. This right here is some kind of track. I know that if it gets all the way to eight, you lose, but I'm not sure exactly how it gets there. Evacuation pile, uncontained quarantine, contained quarantine. And over here, what do we got? Triggered Raxon pile, untriggered Raxon pile, and Raxon draw pile. Again, in shrink wrap. Why? Why? I don't. I don't understand. That makes absolutely no sense to me. It's real. I mean, honestly, it's annoying. It's really kind of annoying that they would shrink wrap. I mean, it's just a board. There's nothing to hold together. Yeah, I mean, why would you shrink wrap the board? I do not understand that, but... Hey, everybody. Okay, so let's talk real quick about that giveaway. Basically, all you have to do to get your code, your invitation to be able to purchase Raxon is go down in the description below. You'll find a link to the guild over on BGG, the Board Online, Board Offline Guild. Go into that guild. Join the guild if you haven't already. Locate the forum thread that I've started for this giveaway. And be sure to post in that thread what you would do in a zombie apocalypse. Where would you go? Where would you find safe haven in a zombie apocalypse fueled by a mega pharmaceutical corporation? The entry date the entry must be in by this date right here at 11:59 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, back to the unboxing. They did. Okay, here we go. We've got deck of cards and these I believe are event cards so probably won't read let's let's just read through one here if there are four or more cards in the contained quarantine in the contain in the quarantine facility you peruse the patient's medical charts closer scrutiny reveals that some records have been altered hiding that hiding that some patients received radical experimental treatment Option one, better take time to fix this. Move a number of cards equal to the player count from the contained quarantine to the uncontained quarantine. Option two, you don't have time to worry about this. Heck, they're all infected, so what difference does it make now? Who's getting what medications? And then I guess that moves up the racks on thing. All right, so these are triggered by, in this case, obviously, that right there. It looks like all of them have a trigger, and then something happens. So it's kind of like... The crossroad cards from Data Winner, but I mean, they're event cards. Lots of games have event cards, but that certainly is a cool. I, I really enjoy that sort of thing in a game. Okay, here we've got the two crossroad cards for the two new characters uh, Meryl Wolf, the journalist. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, yeah, okay, and Katie James. Okay, so these are the two from over there that I said I wasn't sure where they were from. What's her ability? Anywhere, once per round, you may shuffle the crisis contribution cards, look at them, and then you may add one to your hand. Interesting. 78 influence and four attack, one for search. And then Katie James, the CDC official, 79 influence, three attack, four search. Anywhere, when a player rolls a tooth on the exposure die after attacking a zombie at Katie's location, or after moving to Katie's location, you may immediately play a medicine card without using its effect to have the player reroll the die. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is, okay, so a cure, a potential cure for bites. That is awesome. All right, and then of course, here are the actual characters. There you go. Okay, oh, that fell right out. Okay, well, let's go and do that. Cool. 
And then here we've got these cards, which are the main focus of the game, I believe. And know that you have uninfected humans. Um, let's see. So you have uninfected innocents, family, familiar, celebrity, hostile. Still uninfected, though, I believe. Hostile. Lots of hostiles. I guess people get upset during the end of the world. Uh, susceptible. I'm not sure. I guess maybe. All right. Oh, and can now, now you've got infected. We've got the carrier. You know, let's put these down. Carrier. Lots of carriers. Volatile. They look fun. Chaotic. Nice. And that's it. All right. And that's what they look like on the back. Okay, and that is everything that comes in the box. And there you go. That's everything that comes in the Raxon box. Be sure to get your entry in for the code so you can order yourself a copy of Raxon as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, consider subscribing. And until next time, you're bored online, bored offline.